to lose than the U.S., but that the U.S. and President Trump and Xi Jinping, they do have a good working relationship. And let's take a check of the numbers. China sent us $505 billion in goods last year. We sent them $130 billion. Despite this, China feels the numbers are on their side. Let's take it to the money gurus. Mike Lee and Melissa Armo, so great to see you guys. Love having you Good in. To be here. So, you know what? Is this a buy on the... I mean, here's the thing. Tell the viewer what you guys are doing. Are you buying on the dip? Is this a serious trade fight and it's going to break out, Mike? I'm going to ask the same of you, Melissa. Or what, what, do, you, what do you make of all this? Uh, look, this is the umpteenth time we've had a small sell-off for a trade war. And since these tariffs have been announced at the beginning of March, I think the market's up a little over 2%. So, yeah, I've been able to buy on some of these dips. What are you buying? Uh, I, I like finance and big tax. So I like all the big banks right now. I love them. What about you, Melissa? What's your take on all of this? My take on all of this is that the market does not like tariffs, and so it's had negative reactions. And even though the negative reactions have been in the post and the pre-market, like we would, we open lower, and then some days we've rallied, we're still lower into the open. And some days, like today, we still close lower. I don't consider that a placement to so buy. You, I like to feeling... buy momentum. I want to see the strength come in and lift. When you see that we're down in these after hours, that's institutional selling that's, that comes in. That's nothing to mess around with because most of the people that are trading after those hours are serious players in the market. They're not little, little tiny traders. That's, we got to take that seriously. That is an important point. By the way, just perspective. I mean, the Dow is now where it was at the end of around last year in January, mm -hmm. and it's lost 1.15% today. Mike, maybe the Trump White House is saying, look, we're up from 18,000 levels. We've added $7 trillion in, one, in wealth. Let's use some of that to buy some manufacturing jobs back. Yeah, look, and I think the important thing to remember is here, we're not interested in a trade war. What we're trying to do is open up other markets. The U.S. is the freest and fairest trader in the world. And so by putting these tariffs on other countries, we're giving them a little taste of their own medicine. You know, Trump has continually said, if you don't like our tariffs, you drop yours, we'll drop ours. Right? So it's it, we're just trying to open up other markets. And if China were to loosen their barriers of entry, drop some of their tariffs, it would ultimately benefit them in the long run. We hear from Wall Streeters all the time that it's a shocking disgrace that we allow China to steal our Silicon Valley intellectual property for years, build companies to compete with us. Is that your take on it? It is a stuff? shocking disgrace, and I can't believe companies put up with it, but they're so desperate to do business in to China, break like into Apple. China. Yeah. They, in order, they ha they've done what they've had to do in order to sell their products and information there, but they've stolen it, and that's Trump's whole point. Trump is saying, you know what? We're taking a hard line here, and we're pushing back. Him coming out right after he came out last week with the $50 billion in tariffs, now to announce this $200 billion, which came out last night, and that's what created the gap down in the market this morning. That's really taking it over the you top. Are you worried? Are you worried? I'm not worried, but it's I'm not saying, a trade war, no, right? No, no. Well, China's saying, oh, it's a trade war now. That's what they came out right, with this morning. But if, if whether it's a trade war or not, I think in the end, this will, I'm, I'm not worried. Are you because, buying? No, because okay. this is not a place to buy because it'll be lower. I, I'm not worried. Uh, look, China, China needs the U.S. and the U.S. needs China. They need us far more than we need them because they're an export country and we are an import country. We've got country. more to tax from there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. But this <laughs> works like better. This more. works better if okay. the two big boys can play nice in the sandbox. Yeah. All right. Good. You guys are great. Come back soon. We love having you on. Good Thanks stuff. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Mike and Melissa. Now, coming up next, let's turn to President